Hi everyone, we are from third year CSC department from ACE Engineering College. We are here to depict an act on the flow control function of data link layer. The flow control function of data link layer has two protocols. Uh, that is simplex protocol and the stop and wait protocol. We are here to depict these two protocols now. let's see an act on simplex protocol we have the sender sender as continuous stream of data creates the frame and transmits it over to the receiver we have the receiver side it has unlimited buffer space processing speed is high between the sender and receiver we have a transmission medium the transmission medium is a noiseless channel which means that the frames are transmitted without any damage and also there is no loss of frames. Hence, the transmission medium is a noiseless channel which is error free. Sender network layer has a packet. The network layer transmits this packet to the data link layer. The data link layer encapsulates this packet into the payload field. And then along with the payload field, header and trailer are added to the payload field, which is now called the frame. Now this frame created at the data link layer is handed over to the physical layer. Now the physical layer will transmit the frames to the receiver side through a noiseless transmission channel. From the transmission medium, the frame is hand over to the receiver side physical layer. Now the receiver side physical layer will be giving this frame to the data link layer. Now the data link layer will remove the header and trailer from the frame. Now the packet is decapsulated and the packet is handed over to the receiver side network layer. Packet is correctly received at the receiver's network layer. The data link layer has multiple frames to transmit to the receiver side, so it will transmit the continuous frames from the data link layer of the sender side to the data link layer of the receiver side. There is a continuous flow of frames from the sender side to the receiver side through the noiseless transmission medium. In this approach, we are assuming that the receiver has unlimited buffer, but in real time, it doesn't have unlimited buffer. So we need to restrict the sender side frames. For that, we have the next protocol that is stop and wait protocol. Now let's see the stop and wait protocol. The sender has multiple frames to send, but the sender is restricted to send only one frame at a time. When the sender sends a frame, it stops sending the next frame until it receives the acknowledgement for the previously sent frame. In the receiver side, whenever a receiver uh, receives one frame, it sends the acknowledgements for the received frame. Now the data link layer as the frame, it will transmit the frame to the physical layer. Physical layer now transmits this frame to, through the transmission medium to the physical layer of the receiver side. Now through the transmission medium, the frame is transmitted to the net, uh, receiver side physical layer. Physical layer of the receiver side will receive the frame. 
and hands over it to the data link layer. The data link layer decapsulates the frame and sends the packet to the network layer. After decapsulating the packet and giving it to the network layer, the data link layer will create the acknowledgement frame which is transmitted over to the physical layer. Now the physical layer will transmit the acknowledgement frame through the transmission medium to the sender side physical layer. The sender side, the acknowledgement frame is received by the physical layer and this physical layer will transmit the acknowledgement frame to the data link layer. After receiving the acknowledgement frame for the previously sent frame, the data link layer understood that the previously sent frame is received correctly and now it will start sending the next frame. Frame from the data link layer is sent to the physical layer and then through the transmission medium it is sent to the receiver side physical layer. The receiver side physical layer gives it to the data link layer and then the data link layer gives the packet to the network layer. And then the data link layer creates the acknowledgement frame and sends it to the physical layer through the transmission medium. The acknowledgement frame is sent to the sender side physical layer and then to the data link layer. In the same way, the next frame is also transmitted from the sender to the receiver. Like this, the sender will be sending the frame and waiting for the acknowledgement. After it receives the acknowledgement, it will uh, start sending the next frame. So in this protocol, we are assuming that we have a noiseless transmission medium. But in real time, we will not have a noiseless transmission medium.